Hi, I'm Camden, and I'm with ECTV. Today we're visiting with MB Hanrahan, and she's painting murals at El Camino High School. Well, I am completing a couple of murals, and I do mean a couple as in two, uh, murals for El Camino High School at uh, Ventura College. What I really respect about the schools, I felt that um, in my time here and in doing the murals, they support each other and they support the students, like a lot. I go through school, I go through college, I go through um, graduate school, did a little painting, mostly started doing sculpture, <laughs> and then working out of, out of graduate school, I got into painting murals again because I was working in store windows, doing window display. I had no problem doing it. Uh, I was good at it. <laughs> I had a family of grown-up artists, my father and relatives. Uh, so there was uh, an atmosphere of appreciation and also an atmosphere of like, oh yeah, adults grow up and be artists. You can make a living. My parents were very smart. They were like, oh, that's what you like. So they were relieved to find something that I was decent at and I enjoyed. And so they were like, well, if you're good at it, you'll make a living at it. It's what I fell into trying out different things. So again, it was like a default almost, like one person would ask me to do some murals and then their friend would see what they got done and then another sh shop owner would say, oh, that looks great. You're good at those murals and getting young people to work on them with you. Maybe we could get you a grant and then you could just go around to schools and do that. I'm like, sure, you know, and then schools are like, well, these murals make the place look a lot less institutional. How much would it cost for you to come in and paint our name on the wall and then maybe some cool image? Like, and I'm like, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so it's almost like the murals have been their own advertising. And what I do is show up and just do a, do a good job. This is the part where I'm going to sound kind of like weird, but I don't love painting. I do not love, love painting, but I love the effect of it at the end. So what I get out of it is, and this is really sad, I mean, because I, you, know, you could talk to painters that are much more into the process and they're, they're like, oh, and I'm like mixing the paint. And me, I already know what it's gonna look like pretty much when I'm like just starting with the idea. I'll do some scribbly drawings, that, that part I love. I love thinking of the idea. The painting of it, it's just something that goes along with the territory. And then when it's done, I'm like, yes, I'm committed to, to changing up the space. It can be a lot of work. One of the, the uh, methods that I've been using sometimes is now um, painting on a material called polytab, which without going way into the weeds about it, where you, can, you literally can paint on a very thin material and then it's a thick, you know, paint it in my studio, cut it up into squares like it's wallpaper, and then affix it to where it's going to go. I could have done the murals here that way, but it was nice to be on campus and just be painting the murals here. That's the most modern thing that I do with mural painting right now. I used to um, really um, depend on outlining. So I would paint really pretty sloppy and then just outline everything. And that was kind of my get down and my look. And I noticed that as time has gone on, I've mm, maybe gotten to be a little tiny bit of a better painter. I would say the good thing is, is that I, I have not yet not got an idea when someone has talked to me and the day that I don't get any ideas anymore I'll know I've lost my edge. The person who paid for it had an idea of some sort sometimes and it also that they care enough that they feel that art should be here. So that's major so when I see even sometimes crummy murals ones that are a little less skillful I'll just say I'm like well at least they they related to the fact that they needed a mural here that they cared enough about their, the body that was going to be seeing it. They cared, so like a store or a, a restaurant or something, they care about their clientele. Talking to people who lived in a neighborhood that was called Tortilla Flats on the west side of Ventura that was destroyed when the 101 freeway came through. And those murals didn't exist. <laughs> the oral histories didn't exist. The community, we care enough about you. We wanna teach you about something that you probably didn't know about. To the people who gave us the stories. You know, I always tell people, you know, I, I don't feel that uh, most artists don't retire. Well, some do, but most of them just keep doing whatever they're gonna do until the day they die. I'm assuming that someone's either gonna retire me somehow by saying, you don't have to work anymore, here's a bunch of money. And even then, I just can't see me not doing the fun things that I like to do, you know? So hopefully I'll just uh, fade away as I'm working away. El Camino uh, High School at Ventura College, because that is the name of the school, and we want people to know that that is the name of the school. So there's some branding there. And then there's a uh, beautiful bald eagle landing, and then we have, again, the, the, our beautiful bald eagle flying, you have two trees in the background. Working with um, with others on murals, that's it's it's my it's my heart love, you know, to um, collaborate. Teaching, 
my team, color mixing, composition, uh, you know, design, design working together, teamwork, all kinds of things, delegation. When we first get together, we just brainstorm. I can't draw. It's like, well, write your ideas out in word form. Thank you, MB, for making Ventura beautiful one mural at a time. I'm Campton, and this is ECTV.